Hi, everybody. It is uh, Sunday, December 18th. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been working out in the yard and there's been a lot of dust. Wow, my lungs feel like they're just coated with sawdust at this point. Um, uh, I hope everybody's had a nice weekend. I got a lot of stuff I'm doing today and then I'm getting started. I've got a about five tracks to do for, for a group on their album. I need to get that done over the next couple of days. And we had a great time uh, in the studio this week working. It's, things have been going good. It's, you know, the year's pretty much winding down. Uh, the band is done until the very beginning of next year where we're doing a, a photo shoot on the 5th of January. And then we head back east for about four shows on the East Coast, and then I prep for Lyle Lovett to head out at the end of January with him for about five weeks. So, you know, things to look forward to. And, um, but I, you know, I thought I'd do a little, just a little quick one here today, just to have a little, little something to listen to. And, um, you know, one of the, uh, one of the real sweet sitcoms that was on TV back in the day was The Golden Girls. A little information on that for those that don't know. The Golden Girls is an American sitcom created by Susan Harris that originally aired on NBC from September 14th, 1985 to May 9th, 1992, with a total of 180 half-hour episodes spanning seven seasons. The show starred B. Arthur, Betty White, Rue McClanahan, and Estelle Getty as four older women who share a home in Miami, Florida. It was produced by Whit Thomas Harris Productions in association with Touchtone, Television and Paul Witt, uh, Tony Thomas and Harris served as the original executive producers. Um, for the song on it, um, they ended up using Andrew Gold's song on it. And uh, on the original score uh, for the, the main title for the show, it's myself on bass, Russ Kunkel on drums, Arthur Adams on guitar, Ralph Grierson on piano and uh, assorted keyboards, and Cindy Fee singing it. Um, and uh, it ended up being for the entire run, but we did the first season of it, and then each season they would change it up. Uh, it would be the same song, but they would do it slightly differently um, rather than continue. That's the way it always was with Mike Post on all the TV shows we did. Each season we would recut the main title. And it would have a slightly, slightly different flavor to it each time. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, and play this because um, so this is. Hold on, let me see if they've got any additional information on here. What's this? Yeah, there's a little more information here. Uh, the Golden Girls received critical acclaim throughout most of its run and won several awards, including Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Comedy Series. Twice it won three Golden Globes for Best Television Series, Musical, or Comedy. Each of the four stars received an Emmy Award. Um, da -da -da. The series also ranked among the top ten highest-rated programs for six out of seven seasons. In 2013, TV Guide ranked the Golden Girls number 54 in its list of the 60 best series of all time. Um, da da da. So that that was that was pretty much. Yeah, I'm just looking to see if there's anything. Yeah, somebody just wrote "Rest in Peace, all four Golden Girls." They're all gone. But thank you for being my friend. Was the um, the song? So here we go. This is the opening theme and closing theme to the Golden Girls from the 1985 premiere season. Thank you for being a friend Travel down the road and back again Your heart is true You're a pal and a confidant And if you threw a party Invited everyone you knew You would Okay. So no, then, Rose. Then goes, Go to the and she's a slut. Well, let's see. And then, then it goes to the closing. And...
always good to be a working musician. No matter what comes in the door, you jump on it and you go to work. I loved, I mean, because I, I did al almost all of Mike Post's things, but I worked with other composers too. When we did the, uh, uh, the theme to Simon and Simon, uh, this, um, worked on, um, God, some shows with Barry Dvorzon as a composer. I'm trying to remember now. It's been a while, but predominantly Mike Post and Pete Carpenter dominated television uh, during all those years. And still, Mike still is one of the dominant forces in it. Uh, God, you can't go anywhere on earth without hearing Law and Order theme about a thousand times a day. Uh, and uh, it's a great theme and it works. Boy, as soon as you hear the very beginning of that, you know exactly what show is coming on. You know, there's been a change of cast over all the years, but the music has remained the same. You know, just done each time a little bit differently, but basically the same thematic part of it. So um, I'm going to get running here. This is just a nice little quick visit for a Sunday. I, I was looking up a couple of other things, but I'll, I'll jump on that tomorrow. Um, I just want to wish out everybody all the very best. I've been having a ball. I've been getting a bunch of orders for cameos uh, from people. So I've been sending out all kinds of holiday and birthday and anniversary wishes to people. I really enjoy doing those. It's a lot of fun. And uh, so that's been, been cool. And just a bunch of book orders are, are still going out for the holidays and for the Hollandaise sauce. Um, so all is, all is going along good here. You know, just got to be really careful with uh, there's a lot of illness going around right now. And we were all in the studio doing, you know, fist bumping. You know, nobody's hugging or anything. But uh, crazy times. But uh, we got to be, you know, stay on top of the game. So look, all my best to everybody for the rest of the weekend. And I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.